Okay, well, let's keep going. Fall 2021 AMC 10A, problem 19. Uh, I'm going to try to get through problem 20 tonight, hopefully film the rest in the morning. Uh, been filming for almost 12 hours now, so we'll see what we can get done. A disc of radius 1 rolls all the way around. Let me get a good marker here. I think this is probably better. Okay, a disc of radius one rolls all the way around the inside of a square of side length S greater than four. I put this because it doesn't look like italics on my board and sweeps out a region of area A. Okay, so let's find that region, I think. Let's start with this square. We've got this square going on. We'll make it a little bit larger. It's actually my second time filming and the first time wasn't big enough. Uh, so uh, we've got this disc. If I put this disc in the corner, right, like this, then it will go in one and one like that. Don't forget this quarter circle at the end right here. It's going to be in the corner. It's part of the area that it sweeps out. What happens as I run across this way is the center is going to go here, but the disc is actually going to be able to go all the way across to this way. So you're going to be going up right there, and then that's a distance of two in um, now, when I go up this way, you're also going to be able to go up there and then similarly here and similarly here. So what will this look like? You might think you're not going to be able to get this corner. Sure, you're just going to roll the disc. You're going to be able to get that corner. So that means you're going to have this square region in the middle, but how am I going to get that? Um, that's also, let's see, I need to actually find, I think just maybe this region here and here. That's going to be two, right? And then, because uh, that's the radius plus the radius, the diameter. This, though, is x minus two. Um, no, is it x minus four? I lied. So x minus four, which is from here down to here, x minus four, right? So if that's x minus four and this is two, I'm gonna get one of those regions here, 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 and here. So there's four of them, four times two is eight. Eight times x minus four will be eight x minus 32. So that's gonna give us all of these regions here, 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 and here. We also have this quarter circle. Oh, but wait, now that I think about it, we also have Man, it's a little bit tricky. I, maybe I should have done it a different way. This is not how I did it on my paper. I was just trying to think of a new way to do it while I was solving it here. You're going to have three quarters of a square, basically. Let's just use that. Um, this is a one by one square. Um, and then the a whole square is two by two. So if I take this four, area four, and subtract these four tiny corners here, right? These four corners, well, we're going to have a quarter circle instead. So that's going to be uh, three is this region in here, three, right? And there's three, 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 and three for a total of 12. You're gonna add 12 there. But you're also going to add the quarter circle region, right? I'll try and maybe shade it in in blue. You've got this quarter circle. You can't really see the blue against the black. Oh, well, um, quarter circle, quarter circle, quarter circle, quarter circle, all of radius one, that's one whole circle. So it's plus pi. And that's going to give you 8x minus 20 plus pi. Okay, then that's going to have to equal A. Um, I did it differently the first time. I actually cut it off at the center and considered this square here. And for that square there, it's like you wanted this region here, which would be x minus 2 squared, meaning the square, minus the inner square of x minus 4 squared. And it all, it's going to work out to the exact same value, but then just live solving it now, I decided to do a little bit differently. Okay, so let's look at the next part of the problem. A second disc of radius 1 rolls all the way around the outside of the same square. So you're going to put this disc, I'm going to put it right here in blue, I guess. It's radius 1, which means it's going to come all the way out to 2. And if I move that disc so it's to the corner right here, there's no reason why it also can't go right there. Meaning that I'm going to generate a rectangle that goes all the way to the edge of the original square. Its dimensions will be 2 by x. And I'm going to get one of those on all sides. 
here, 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 and over there. Okay, so those four rectangles are each two by x, so two x, total eight x. So this is gonna be two a equals eight x because it's going around the outside of the same square and sweeps out a region of area 2a. So here's the 2a, there's my 8x. In the corners, there's no reason as I rotate the disc, the farthest point away from the side of the square that you can get is a distance of two, which means as it rolls around, you're gonna get quarter circles at the corner, each of radius two. So we say plus pi r squared, r is two, it's four pi. Now, that is the area of the four quarter circles you will get combined. All right, so now what do we have to do? We need to get rid of the A because it says the value of S, which I'm calling X. Again, I don't like X, it causes problems, or I'm sorry, S, it causes problems in my calculation, so I just use X. It looks like five is Y. So now I've got A here. I'm gonna go ahead and double the A. If I double the a, I'm going to get that 2a is equal to 16x minus 40 plus 2 pi. Then I'm going to go ahead and do a negative on this one, negative, 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 and add them. Why? To get rid of the a so we can solve for x. I will get 0 equals 8x minus 40 uh, minus 2 pi. All we're doing is adding after you run the negative through. Okay, so now I'm gonna move these over. I'm gonna get 8x equals 40 plus two pi. And I'm gonna divide by eight to get x equals five plus pi over four. All right, let's read what it says. The value of x for me can be written as a plus b pi over c, where a, b, and c are positive integers. Is that what we have? Five, not s, five plus one, pi over four, that's my a, b, and c. Um, our, a, b, and c are relatively prime. What is a plus b plus c? Five plus one plus four is 10. That is going to be our answer. One more point, relatively prime means no common divisors other than one. Let's get to problem 20, and then I'm gonna be done for tonight. I'll film more tomorrow.